All right, guys, uh, John here. I am actually a roofer by trade, um, and this is my own RV. It's a 2013, and I believe it has a uh, PVC roof originally, but I don't know if the camera will show this, but if you look in here, you'll start to see the membrane light little surface cracks on here. So one of the cheapest, most uh, effective ways to do this is just take, we're just taking simple green and water. Um, I actually install PVC and TPO on uh, some commercial buildings and stuff like that. Um, we do asphalt roofs, so it's the same thing. So the reason why I knew this was starting to give, it's starting to deteriorate um, down here in my storage bins, um, in the latches on the end where the gutter drains, um, this little tiny cute gutter here, uh, you'll actually see a little bit of fine and grit um, and it's leaving a stain down the side of my trailer. So we're just going to clean this and then we're actually going to use tropical um, silicone roof coating by Henry. Um, I mean, I've done a lot of emergency leak repairs with that stuff and it's impressed me over the years. Um, Gateco is also another great brand. Um, but uh, Simple Green actually cleans this membrane really well. So starting off with a clean surface is just uh, one step ahead of the game about bonding it. Um, all right, guys, we will get back in touch with you here in a little bit. All right, guys, my son's on the roof and he is still cleaning. And I just wanted to show you, this is what I was talking about. So from us washing it, you can see this white uh, kind of gray powder residue. Um, and this is the drip line coming down my trailer. So um, here's that little gutter where it comes down and leaving a little stain. And what was happening is all that powder residue when it would rain is gumming up my latches on my uh, side access here. So hopefully <clears throat> doing a full new silicone coating on this thing should, uh, should make this thing nice and tight and last uh, hopefully another 10 years. All right, so we got, now that we've cleaned this, um, I'm gonna go around and seal uh, some of the penetrations up that are bad. So um, you can see that will split right there and you can see how it kind of moves in there. So to me, that is a potential leak. We didn't really have any leaks inside, but um, I'm gonna take some of this Henry. They do make a seam seal for this, but I don't have enough to justify a whole gallon of that. So we just got a tube of the 100% silicone roof sealant. We're gonna, I'm gonna three course this uh, as we call in the roofing. So it's where you put a bead of sealant, put some fiberglass tape and another bead of sealant. All right, so we've put one bead of sealant down and I actually use a wood shim. Um, it's like the cheapest trowel you'll ever get. You can get a whole pack for super cheap. Um, I like them, I just throw them away when I'm done. So I just got that smoothed out. I'm gonna put the fiberglass on it and then we'll do another coat. All right, so there's the fiberglass strip on there. And so now I'm just gonna start in the center and I'm just gonna kind of push it into it a little bit. Um, just focusing on where I put the sealant was where the um, seam in the skylight meeting the roof was. So now that that's smoothed into it, we're going to put another bead of sealant over the fiberglass and we consider that three coursing in the roofing trade. I'm sure other people call it different things, but that's what we've always called it. All right, so we've got a second layer of sealant over the top. I know it's not the most beautiful thing. We're still gonna coat over the roof again. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around this skylight here, um, just to seal this up and any other penetrations I have on this roof that have little cracks like that around it. And then we will basically do the roof coating over that. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we are fully uh, three coursed around this. I'm gonna hit some of the other penetrations and I'm gonna let this sit for two hours Probably before I start the roof coating let it cure. I just wanted to point out <clears throat> There's a little bit of the fiberglass tape showing that's fine because I'm coating over this again If you weren't doing a coating and you had an emergency leak and you wanted to adjust this right here We'll definitely get you by and get you down the road and get the leak stopped and last a long time with the fiberglass mesh in there uh, what that's gonna do is during the expansion and contraction um, as things get hot and cold, uh, that is going to reinforce that and make it stay there. So, all right, guys, we'll uh, get the coating on here in a little bit. 
All right, one more prep detail I'm gonna do here is, so this is my roof membrane right here. As it comes over the edge, you can see those Phillips screws and there's this bar here. And uh, commercial roofing stuff, we call this a termination bar or T-bar flashing. And so I'm gonna go ahead along here with a caulking gun, that same silicone uh, sealant here. It's important to, if you're gonna use sealant, uh, especially since I'm doing a silicone roof coating on this, you want to use a silicone uh, product to seal this. So now that I got a bead in there, this is where we got to get a little bit messy. I'm just going to take my finger along here and you can just very nicely just smooth that along. And, uh, and that seals that edge right there, that seam between the two. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do that thing all the way along here. And, uh, We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so now we're getting ready to put down the coating. Here is the coating that we are gonna install. This is, or apply, this is 100% silicone. Um, it's about 350 bucks for a five gallon bucket. Um, should do around 300, it says 320. I figure around 300 per pail. Um, You'll want some cheap gloves. Those are like $1 gloves from Home Depot. I just use in a roller. Um, and you're going to want to mix this stuff with a paddle mixer on a drill is the easiest way. Um, uh, this is silicone coating is way different than um, your elastomerics. It is unique and really good for RVs because um, it doesn't absorb water whatsoever. And that's where your elastomerics, after a few years, you'll see them bubble and disbond as where the silicone will probably hang in there a lot longer. All right, I'm just gonna start from the front and work my way to the back. All right guys, so now we're just rolling out the coating here. Um, I'm just literally dipping into the bucket and, and, and you can fill in a little bit. One pro tip I will say, you don't want this stuff to run over the edge. So usually what I do here, you can tell a couple inches from the edge. I run it thinner and then I start in the middle and work my way out <clears throat> and then I'll almost do like a couple two or three thin coats towards the perimeter edge. Um, but other than that I'm just going to roll this out and then I'll show you guys once it's all done. Um, you guys I'm sure have painted before so it's it's not that difficult. All right so another thing I sometimes like to get these cheap uh, uh, one dollar paint brushes. Uh, they might be dollar fifty with today's inflation who knows. Um, I find it easier to do some of these penetrations. I've already kind of gone around that in the AC unit. If the AC unit or that was a big deal um, or had a lot of leaks there, I probably would have removed it, but I like to be able to just go like that and then I can put it on nice and thick and just kind of, and then when I roll around it, same thing um, around there. I can kind of put a little extra thick around that, but we're making progress. All right, well, here's the final product. I'm not gonna walk on it because it's still not dry yet. I may do a second coat uh, tomorrow. Um, you have to do a second coat within 24 hours. I only used about um, oh, a third of that five gallon bucket. Uh, you can see that on top of the air conditioner, that's just the vent cover that goes right there. <laughs> I was able to get the slide out as well. Um, yeah, I feel like it turned out pretty decent. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, FYI, when you have a uh, PVC roof like this, originally, um, a lot of people like to use tar or blackjack. Uh, that stuff actually eats uh, the plastic roofs and stuff like that. So once, and then once you're silicone, the only thing that will ever bond to it is gonna be silicone again. So you could recoat this every few years if you want, just make sure you clean it really well. Um, I like the way it turned out. I think it's gonna do well for my trailer and I'll probably coat it again in about four years. All right, thank you. Uh, one more thing, if you liked this video uh, and you liked my son's lime green Crocs, give it a like. <laughs>